Good morning. In the last lecture, we discussed about probability density function. See, in case of discrete random variable, we use probability mass function. And in case of continuous variable, random variable, we use probability density function. A real valued function f of x is called a probability density function. This is standard short form PDF of a continuous random variable x if it satisfies the following. f of x is greater than or equal to zero for all x belonging to set of real numbers and integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to one. Uh, if x takes values uh, in this particular interval, uh, alpha and beta, then what is the probability? It is integral alpha to beta fx dx. Okay. Now we know that definite integral represents the area. So this is the geometrical interpretation. The area under the curve y equal to fx bounded by x axis and the ordinates x equal to alpha or x equal to a and x equal to b is one because it represents the total probability which is equal to one. Actually, uh, uh, this is the total probability. And here uh, they have shown some part of that uh, domain that is between alpha and beta. Okay. So this is the geometrical interpretation. Then we discussed distribution function. Uh, if x is a continuous random variable with probability density function f of x, then the cumulative distribution function, capital F of x of x is defined for every real number x as f of xi equal to p of x less than or equal to xi. Uh, this definition is important. It is integral minus infinity to xi fx dx. Okay, so this is the diagram for that. Uh, so we already discussed this part in the last lecture. Uh, exercise 7.2, first question, verify which of the following is probability density function of a random variable x. See, there are two criteria f of x should be greater than or equal to zero. If this is not satisfied, you need not consider the second. If this is satisfied, second criterion, integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is one, okay? Now they say for the second part, f of x is x greater than or equal to zero, for zero less than or equal to x, less than or equal to one. But don't conclude that it is PDF because for one less than x less than two, how function is defined? It is defined as minus two minus x. Okay, so multiply by minus one. If multiplied by negative number, inequality reverses. So minus one greater than minus x greater than minus two. But we need minus two minus x. Subtract two. So minus three greater than minus two minus x greater than minus four. Now I write minus four first. So minus four less than, this is f of x less than minus three. If one less than x less than two. Now f of x has to be greater than or equal to zero. This is not happening here. So f of x is not probability density function. Third one, f of x is two for zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to one. Uh, basically probability is greater than zero. So first criterion is satisfied. What is the second criterion? Integral minus infinity to infinity fx dx should be one. Now you may say, uh, can we directly write integral zero to one f of x dx equal to uh, if you want full marks, it is better you write this because see, from minus infinity to infinity, how can you directly write one to infinity? 
So from minus infinity to zero, plus zero to one, plus one to infinity. Now for this f of x equal to zero, for this f of x equal to zero. So ultimately it is integral zero to one only. But it is better if you write this step. Now it is integral two. It is two x upper limit one, lower limit zero. So value of this definite integral is two. You have to just say it is not equal to one. So the second criterion is not satisfied. So f of x is not probability density function. Second, the following is the probability density function of a random variable x. f of x is x upon a for zero less than x less than four, and f of x equal to zero otherwise. So from minus infinity to zero, and from four to infinity, f of x equal to zero, and that is why we have to just consider integral zero to four. What is asked? A part p of x less than one point five. Ideally, x less than one point five means integral minus infinity to one point five. But we do not consider from minus infinity to zero because for that f of x equal to zero. So we just say required probability is integral zero to one point five. Simple. What is f of x? X upon it. So one upon it. Integral x is x square by two, so one upon sixteen. One point five means fifteen by ten. That is three by two. Its square is nine by four, so nine upon sixty-four. Second part, it is integral, rather p of one less than x less than two. So integral one to two f x dx. That is integral one to two x upon it. So in this case also one upon it. Integral x is x square upon two. Lower limit one, upper limit two. So one upon sixteen. Two square is four. Minus one square is one. So I'm getting probability for this particular domain as three upon sixteen. C part. P of x greater than two. So integral two to four. Actually, x greater than two means what? Two to infinity. But domain is for which function is x upon x. It? it is zero to four. So it is two to four f x dx. You may say plus four to infinity, but for that f of x equal to zero. So here we do not write that. So two to four. What is f of x? Same. X upon it. So it is one upon it. X square by two. So one upon sixteen, lower limit two, upper limit four. So one upon sixteen into four square is sixteen less two square four. So this is nothing but twelve upon sixteen. That is three upon four. third question it is known that error in measurement of reaction temperature in degree celsius in a certain experiment is continuous random variable given by f of x equal to x square upon 3 for minus 1 less than x less than 2 or f of x equal to 0 otherwise first square uh, first question verify whether fx is a probability density function of a random variable x second find p of 0 less than x less than or equal to 1 third find the probability that x is negative 
see there are two criteria the first one that probability should be non negative now f of x is x square upon 3 can x square upon 3 be negative never so f of x here is greater than or equal to 0 second what is integral minus infinity to infinity we split this as minus infinity to minus 1 plus minus 1 to 2 plus 2 to infinity now for the first and third function equal to 0 that is why i have directly written 0 plus integral minus 1 to 2 fx dx plus 0 now for this function is given as x square upon 3 what is integral of x square x cube upon 3 right upper limit 2 lower limit minus 1 So it is one upon nine. This three and this three. So one upon nine. Two cube is eight minus minus one cube is minus one. So effectively eight plus one upon nine. It is nine upon nine, which is one. So the given function is probability density function. Second part. Find p of zero less than x less than or equal to one. So it is integral zero to one f x dx. Integral zero to one x square upon three dx. So one upon three. What is integral x square? X cube by three. So this is one upon nine. One cube is one. Zero cube equal to zero. So one upon nine. Third part. Find the probability that x is negative. Actually, negative means minus infinity to zero. But I am considering minus one to zero. Why? Because from minus infinity to minus one, function equal to zero. So we need not consider that. So minus one to zero, x square upon three, integral x square upon three. Now one upon three into what is integral x square? X cube upon three. Upper limit zero, lower limit minus one. So one upon nine into what? Zero minus what is cube of minus one? Minus one. So effectively, it is one upon nine. Fourth sum, find k if the following function represents PDF of random variable x. First and second questions are different. I mean, a uh, sub part rather. Uh, values of k will be different. We'll be doing first, second for homework. First one, f of x is k x for zero less than x less than two. And it is equal to zero. Otherwise, we are asked to find p of one by four less than x less than three by. Two. Now f of x is probability density function. So integral minus infinity to infinity f x d x is one. You may argue that uh, f of x is k x for zero less than x less than two, and is zero otherwise. So why can't we write this directly? But Again, I say that it is better if you say that as it is PDF integral minus infinity to infinity f x d x is one. We split this interval into minus infinity to zero, zero to two, two to infinity. For first and third function equal to zero, and for the second it is k x. K is constant. What is integral of x? X square by two. Upper limit two, lower limit zero. So that gives me. K into two square by two equal to one. So what is k? K is nothing but one by two. Now what is asked? We are asked to find p of one upon four less than x less than three by two. So find out. So it is integral one upon four to three by two f of x dx. We have already obtained value of k, so it is integral one upon four to three by two. Function is k x, but k is half, so I will directly write half x dx. Now find the value. So this is one upon two x square by two x goes from. One by four to three by two, so half into half that is one by four. Three by two square is nine by four, and one by four square is one by sixteen. So it comes out to be thirty-five upon sixty-four. 
uh, second is similar and is for homework. Uh, here you will notice that you get k equal to 6. And for this part, answer is 11 by 32. And for p x less than half, you should get 1 upon 2. Actually, fifth is similar to second sum. So it's for homework. Uh, fifth is let x be amount of time for which a book is taken out, uh, out of library for uh, reading, of course, by randomly selected student. And suppose x has PDF, f of x equal to 0 0.5x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. And f of x equal to 0, otherwise, Calculate P of X less than or equal to 1. P of 0 0.5 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 1.5. And P of X greater than or equal to 1.5. Uh, answers are given. We'll be doing some number 6. Suppose that X is waiting time in minutes for a bus and its PDF is given by F of X equal to 1 by 5 for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 5 and f of x equal to 0. Otherwise, find the probability that first part waiting time is between 1 and 3 uh, minutes, of course. Second, waiting time is more than 4 minutes. So first part, what is the required probability? Waiting time is between 1 and 3 minutes. So integral 1 to 3 fx dx. But what is f of x? 1 upon 5. So integral 1 upon 5 dx is 1 upon 5 x, upper limit 3, lower limit 1. So 2 upon 5. This is the answer for the first part. What is second part? That waiting time is more than 4 minutes. So P of uh, x greater than or equal to I'm sorry, uh, more than four minutes. So I should say x greater than four. Means actually integral four to infinity fx dx. That is integral four to five plus integral five to infinity. Now you may say, can we just write integral four to five? Yes, you can. But it is better if you add one more step. So this is integral 4 to 5. And for this, we know that function is 1 upon 5. And otherwise, it is 0. So 1 upon 5, integral dx is x. x goes from 4 to 5. So 1 upon 5 into 5 minus 4. So what is the required probability? It comes out to be 1 upon 5. So that's it for today.